Okay guys, so you're gonna have to excuse the wind, okay? But today, we are checking out one of these electric scooters. Oh yeah! It's a 5,600 watt, 60 volt monster, does 60 miles an hour. Got this one from Scoots up here in Scotland. You can get them from Glasgow, Edinburgh. Scoots in Scotland. They were 1,600 bucks, just under that. At the end price, this one's called the Protron H9. It is an absolute beast. Now, I'll get some footage of this thing driving. We'll get some close ups of some stuff or some stuff I want to speak about. It's got hydraulic brakes, it's got dual motors, it can run single motor on the rear, you can run it in three power settings. Absolutely brilliant fun. It has lights, it has headlights at the front, it also has deck lights down on the sides under here. Where are we? Oh, yeah, under here there's some lights. There's a little foot brace at the back to get standing on, that's really good and comfortable. Excuse the wind right now, it's getting really bad. Now I've stuck a bag on the front, we've got controls here, turn our headlights on and off, we've got a Big horn, turn our deck lights on, we've got dual motor, single motor. I've added a phone, a camera mount, and a swap the camera out for the music. We have our settings up here. This is our dial, I don't know if you're going to see it too good right now. But I can see it clear as day. It goes up to about 67 volts, fully charged. It has multi-set handlebars. It is an absolute weapon. We'll try and come out with the wind. It does fold, although I've had it up and I just keep it up. I'm sure after a while the folding mechanism, there's a little bit of plastic in there, is designed to wear out eventually. This will keep everything pinched nice and tight. I don't want to mess with mine, so I'm just keeping mine where it is. It's an absolute machine. Now it goes fast. In the beginning I couldn't even get it in top gear to drive it. I was a bit scared. And one thing I will say is, they do have off-road tyres, although this machine off-roads a bit of a handful and it's just, I don't know, it's really awkward. And on the road I find these tyres a bit, I would say they're unsafe. At speed, you do not want to turn at speed with these tyres on. They're Uber Scoot tyres. You'd be, be you really would be better off riding this on the road and having proper road tires with some treads on it because these when you turn on the third gear at full power you can feel these knobblies bending and stretching and you're away to lose the front end yeah it's crazy right we'll stop the wind noise just now i don't know what to run over for just now this is absolutely amazing this is the most fun i've had in a long long time guys a long, long time ago, dirt bikes, motocross bikes, pit bikes, petrol scooters, go-karts, quads, you name it, I go it. And I'm telling you now, I have not had fun like this thing in a long time. Now, I've seen a few of the 60-volt scooters taking a bit of a bad rap. A lot of them seem to have the, the suspension on the front that comes down backwards and then pivots back down again, like the Solar FF 2.0 things like the Dualtron or the V-Set that squishy suspension man at speed when you turn and it squishes down and tries to pop back out that's what gives you the mega speed wobbles these I'm not getting the speed wobbles from this whatsoever off of this scooter if anything I get a little bit of wobble back in in the rear slightly but not much but absolutely good fun. I reckon the treads are not going to last long. I think the front tire is going to wear out before the back tire. They're, they're already running low. I have done um, 171, 171 kilometers since getting this brand new. And I'm telling you, man, for the guys at Scoots, thank you very much because you've opened it up for me. This is very stealthy. It's very quiet, and by the time anybody knows I'm there, whoosh, I am gone. I am absolutely gone. So if they've got a complaint, I'm not I'm not there to hear it. So I don't really care. Now, I will advise these guys, you need private road permission to drive on private road. 
and you need to have a right to be there or you can end up in serious trouble, your licence taken off you. Uh, unfortunately, I am the last king of Scotland so I can go pretty much anywhere I like. So yeah, we'll catch up on this soon. We'll get some footage of this thing flying. Right, so as you can see, we're back home now. Now, I've got another video on this one here. This is the Bogus C1 Pro. That was a good scooter. 500 watt, up to peak power, 600 watt. It was only like 500 quid when I got this. I have another video on the channel about this one. This one is awesome as a commuter scooter. Full dual suspension, smooth, plenty of power. Goes for about 20 odd miles. Wicked thing, that. I'd advise everybody and anybody, if you're going to get a cheap scooter, 500 watt it's this one bogus c1 pro can't say anything bad about that scooter other than when you come to some big hills it's better to push it to conserve more of your battery now this baby it's better just to move the hill to another postcode if it doesn't want to get in the way because this thing will dig it out the way now, as I said before, we've got headlights, as you can see, they're super bright headlights up on the front. They've actually got angel eyes as well. And then you have, when you press the yellow button, you have your deck lights. And I love blue deck lights, man. So, yeah, issues, problems. I don't really have one single problem with this thing. Not one. Not one. The only thing I would say is the same with nearly every scooter I've tried so far. And that would be the inside, the battery, the controllers. They seem to be knocking about and shaking about. Da, 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 da. And I hit some really big bumps intentionally. And it sounds like I'm going to do some damage. So check back on the next video because we're going to open this up. And we're probably going to stuff it full of packaging foam. If it's safe, we'll find out what's safe first and we'll try and fill up as much space as we can in here so that that stuff isn't thudunking around. But yeah, that's been it for me just now. On the this one's called the Protron H9, it goes by Boy Wada, it goes by a few names, but this one is home here in Scotland and it's the Protron, just like the Dualtron. In fact, it's very much like a Dualtron Thunder. But I'm telling you guys, get it. Don't wait around. Get it. Bye for now.